Howdy, and welcome to the Lunch Table, a podcast where we get our answers from a little black ball that tells us the future. Ask again. Ask again. Yes. <laughs> Didn't ask a question. And that's right. My right hand man, the guy who's shaking the imaginary ball that tells us our future. Don't shake it like that. Sorry. And also doing inappropriate signs. <laughs> Mr. Google himself. I like to play with myself under the table. And do cock magic. Lots of nizer. I have very tight jeans on right now. Do you can do Everybody cock magic. will know. You can do cock magic. Buck-cock. Have you seen Buck-cock. that ep- you seen that episode of South Park yet? No! Oh my god, dude. There's eight different shows you're telling me to watch, and I don't want to watch no, any of them. That's not true. It's only South Park. And Dragon Ball. No, that's her. Yeah. I didn't spout that at all. <laughs> and she was telling me about it, and I was like, you better tell him to watch Kai. Because if he doesn't watch the easier animated down version, it's going to suck. And Spongebob. Well, yeah, but only the first three seasons. After that, it gets kind of wonky. And the guy who loves a Spongebob, that's right, your host with the most. Blackface. Just because my girlfriend makes it. What? No rebuttal? Yeah, right, she makes me blackface. It is her thing. That's what she likes. <laughs> I don't know why. Sometimes she tries to get me to say, but I ain't falling for that. Track. No, no, that's my safe word. <laughs> that's right. The man who lives at the house where no means yes, Carl Jones. But that means yes means anal. I didn't make those rules. I know. Neither did I. We're just abiding. <laughs> we we just follow. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's get into it. Drew. Mm. Bang, bang, Drew. Bang, bang, mm. bang. Drew. I like that song. Mm. You got me dancing now. Now all I want to do is dance. Whenever I hear that song, it always makes me think of the Men in Black theme song. Ooh. We are the Men in Black. Okay, real quick, I was thinking, I, I came across a TikTok, and it's been making me think all day, so now I'm going to ask you the same question it asked hit me. me. Hit me, I want it. I'm ready. Was Bingo nope. the name of the farmer or the dog? The dog. Go ahead, sing the whole song. Bingo was his name Oh, mm-hmm. There was a farmer who had a dog, and Bingo was his name Oh, Yeah. Then it was, and there was a farmer who had a cat. And yeah. Bingo was his name o. Yeah. He just he, are was, we he sure? wasn't very smart and just named like eight things Bingo. Are we sure <laughs> that there's not a farmer Bingo that is fighting a farmer McDonald right now? If it if it was like Or just, is it old McDonald and just he's he, he he fell he has like Alzheimer's or something now and he thinks his name is Bingo. No. The dog's name was Bingo. And the cat's name was Bingo. And the horse's name was Bingo. I don't think so. The farmer's name was probably like John. No, I think the farmer's name is Bingo. No. There's a farmer who just had these things, and the farmer's name is Bingo. No. I got another good question for you. Okay. Who would win in a street fight? Uh, Specifically a street fight. Me. Ronald McDonald or Old McDonald. You know, he's got that farmer's strength. Yeah, but i never really seen a picture of Old McDonald, and I know Ronald McDonald has magic. (laughs) <laughs> along, probably along with your cock magic okay and he has grimace on his side oh, street fight 101 one dude i still say the guy who paints himself as a clown is much more fucked up dude i say the dude that's throwing around hay bales all day yeah but he ain't gonna have a weapon right right the only thing he's gonna have is like a long rifle that he's not gonna be able to get to if you're just walking in a street i feel like ronald walks around with some knives and shit <laughs> you think he takes off that shoe and oh, pulls out yeah, Mac I, 11? No, no, I think the shoe has a big ass knife in it. And it's, just, boom, and it's just a big clown shoe with a bigger knife. <laughs> and we're into another Will Smith movie, Wild Wild West. <laughs> I was thinking Try Gun, but yeah. <laughs> so, 
<clears throat> Sharon wanted me to bring this up. Go ahead. The other day, mm-hmm. we're watching TV. Okay. And you know Sharon. Yeah. Sometimes sitting down and listening to something is Means let's go. Well, no, isn't her best forte, <laughs> right? Sometimes she likes just to talk. Yeah. So, you know, most of the time I don't I don't mind. I don't mind. But we just started, like, watching a new anime, and it was getting to a very serious point. Like, she could have talked the whole way through. It wouldn't have mattered till this point. This is the ending thing to figure it out, right? And she just starts... She's, like, chewing on her straw and doing something and <laughs> talking to me and just... Nah, 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 nah. And I'm like, would you quit being weird and just watch the movie? Girlfriends is why they make a rewind button. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I was like, can you just be stop being weird and watch the movie? And we're watching the anime. And at two point, like, the bad guy and the good guy are, like, doing this scene where as they're fighting, they get into a real serious talk. And I lean to her and I go, are they going to kiss now? And she goes, will you stop being weird and watch the movie? <laughs> dude, I... So she said it kind of angrily, like, with some bass in her voice, dude. I was like, damn. Yeah. It shocked me, and then I just laughed. You don't, you don't. It cracked me up. It cracked me up so hard, I was crying. You don't do that, man. You, you, don't, you don't then just do the same thing you yelled at. You do that, like, a day later. You're stern for the rest of the night after you have a stern talking to. <laughs> <laughs> dude, and not just that. You know, I knew my life was going to change uh, in the cooking aspect, Yeah. right? Just when she first moved in and everything, she had, like, two duffel bags of seasoning. <laughs> so, like, I knew. <laughs> I knew my life was going to change in that moment. Like, oh, dang, I'm going to taste some things I've never tasted. <laughs> I like spice now. <laughs> I like, I, I knew salt and pepper. And that was about it, you know. Garlic salt. I knew garlic yeah, salt. Yeah, garlic salt. I know that. Yeah. Um, But I knew my life was going to change, but, dude. The other day, we're sitting down, we're eating, we're having dinner, and she's like, I've been wanting to make you neck bone. She told me that. I was like, what Fox the hell? Tail. I was like, what the hell's neck bone? I was like, no. And then she was like, yeah, then I was thinking about oxtail. I was like, ew. And she's like, would you rather have ox tongue? I was like, oh my God, no, none of these things. Dude, you need to have fish cheek. Oh, uh, dude, fish don't have cheeks. Yes, they do. They have a very small amount of meat right in the front here, and it's very, very tender, and it's very, very rare, and it's very hard to pull out in in, in good quantities. So it's very, it's a delicacy. How have you had it? I've never had it. Oh, then shut up! (laughs) Stop shoving things down my throat that you wouldn't eat. I would eat the shit out of that. I even told her that I would eat oxtail with her if she made it. I told her if she'd make it, I'd give it a bite, but I ain't happy about eating something by the poop. It got touched by the poop. The skin did. Yeah. Th- Dude, it's soaked in. Bullshit. <laughs> if you can boil something and the flavor soaks into the meat, then the poo over years soaked into that muscle. Nah, everything's GMO. Those those oxen are like three years old. Um, dude, you say it's whatever. It's only three-year-old. Poop. It pooped the whole time. It poops as soon as it's born. It poops. Thank you. <laughs> it poops, it poops, it poops. I haven't said it once. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling you. I'll eat it. And the only reason I'm willing to eat it is because like I eat stuff like bacon, which I guess is like the butt cheek and stuff anyways, which is where the poop comes out. So I'll give it a shot. But I told her I'm white, and I'm not happy about this. <laughs> 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 Having me eat the junk part of animals. What's up with this? Nah. It just caught me off guard. I'll definitely try it. I told her, whatever. I was like, as long as I don't have to cook, whatever is put in front of me, I will eat. I will eat it, and I will not say anything you, bad about it. You were it. just raised right. I was raised correctly. Yeah. I was raised. My mom couldn't cook. So it's nice to have someone who can cook. Your mom could cook more than my mom could. Dude, I came over for meatloaf. I was in my glory. Dude, that's the only I thing she could ever cook day. was meatloaf. Yeah. Yeah. Other than that, dude, everything was just frozen, and that's why you liked it, because we just pulled it out of the big freezer, remember? Right. <laughs> I opened that thing up, and it was like looking into a vault full of money. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> well, with all the frozen food you could want. Oh, my God. I could have chicken nuggets and sausage in the same meal? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you had the shits, but yeah, you could. I already had the shits. Dude, your mom, she made 
one okay thing. Two. She would make two. She'd make that ham loaf. That wasn't yeah. bad. Yeah. That was it wasn't I wouldn't pay for it at a restaurant, I'll it's, tell you that. It's pre made and she warms it up. Oh, okay. Well that explains a lot. <laughs> uh, Waiting for the next one to say that same thing. <laughs> is there a coffee cake? No, she makes that. See, that one's good. I like yeah. the coffee cake a lot. She does a she, good job on that. That was a recipe like four generations ago. Well, whoever came up with it, good job. <laughs> because I, I like it. My mom made the same like eight things growing up. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and you said your dad made boiled hot dogs. Yeah, I'll get to that. Sharon tried to boil hot dog. No, I think it was the brats the other day. And I was like, don't you fucking dare boil any of those. I was like, don't you boil a hot dog? Don't you boil brat? I was like, that's not how we cook those here. That is <laughs> that is disgusting to me. So my mom used to make hamburgers on Monday and Wednesday. She used to make hot dogs on Tuesday and Thursday. And she would have either mashed potatoes or mac and cheese, and she would alternate them. That's it. Yeah. Uh, and then Friday was pizza day. Best day of the week. <laughs> pizza day. <laughs> Yes, Aquabats. She, she would always go get pizza and bring it from Pizza Hut. Mm -hmm. uh, Saturday was typically like some type of pasta. Uh, That's not bad. And then like spaghetti. Or and something. then Sunday was always like the next day of pasta. The leftover. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it had sat in the fridge and gotten really weird. Yeah. Or sometimes it'd be really special where she made like a roast. Mm. Mm. what uh, special event would have to happen for her to make a roast she would just pull it out of the fridge it, it would happen like once a month or something like that. okay it, it wasn't too crazy um but then she once i told her that i was getting tired of the same stuff and both the other brothers were out of the house she started to like kind of adventure a little bit Uh oh okay and it wasn't the best <laughs> she tried it for you drew her gravy was not great. Gravy's not even hard. Uh, it, it was it was very floury. Yeah. Ooh. And uh, she made that gravy and put chicken chunks in that gravy. It, yeah. It, it wasn't great. She tried. She tried for she you. She did. She provided for us, and yeah. I am thankful for that. Yeah. I always had a meal. Yeah. Yeah. Evidently. Dude, me too. <laughs> I get it. I get it. They just couldn't cook. Right. Uh... She made a lot of desserts. Yeah, she did. My mom didn't even... The worst part is... I don't know if this is the same with your family. Every other woman in my family, amazing cook. <laughs> amazing cooks and bakers. Yeah. Oh, my God. Dude. Like, when I took Sharon over for Easter, she saw all the food and all the desserts we had. She's like, holy crap. Dude, it's awesome. I don't know how my mother just didn't get it. When I went to your family reunion, yeah, do you oh, remember that? Yes, I do. There was two tables. Yeah. There was one table mm -hmm. of food. Really, really, really good food. Yeah. And there was one table of other food. And you pulled me aside and said, listen, this is really the first family function you've been to. You're like, you want to stay away from that other table. <laughs> <laughs> He goes, take anything you want from this table. <laughs> yeah. I know who made all the shit on this table. That one? Eh. <laughs> Stay away. Yeah, the family is... Yeah, the other side's not the best at cooking. <laughs> Some of them ain't the... They're not the brightest, but... Yeah, well, and my dad's side. Like, my grandmother and that. Great cook also. Yeah. My grandma did... She would make spaghetti all the time. Yeah. But that's not knocking it. We love spaghetti. Yeah. So, dude, we'd go over to Grandma's, get spaghetti, and then she would make the best, and I, I don't know how you really rate these over others, but the best mashed potatoes in the world. Hey, my grandma made the best grilled cheese in the world. Dude, the mash, it, they were perfect. Always velvety, smooth, and creamy, no and lumps. buttery, no yeah. lumps. And she did it by hand. Dude, I remember the first time, I was... I was freaking 15 the first time I had instant mashed potatoes. At my house, probably. No, it was at Matt Humphrey's house. <laughs> okay? I remember eating them, and I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> they're grainy. They're salty. They're nasty. I was like, this ain't potato. 
I don't know what you're trying to feed me, but I ain't eating this cat food. Those were the potatoes that my mom would make throughout the week. <laughs> oh! <laughs> And uh, and blue box was the mac and cheese. Uh, but, not even craft. No. Well, yeah, it was it was craft oh, okay. blue box. Um, but going back to the boiled stuff, yeah. she boiled hot dogs, uh, and, hamburgers, and boiled hamburgers. Uh, that was how she cooked them. Uh, so so my dad. You're white. It did, and no salt probably, or or pepper on it. No, no, nothing. No, 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 that'd be no. the blandest. Uh. It was sugar or bust. <laughs> <laughs> My mom had a lot of headaches. She was a teacher. Yeah, and uh, when she would come home, or sometimes maybe not even go to work, she just had a headache, and like we were supposed to leave her alone, not bother her one bit. Okay. My dad would take over. And sometimes we would go out to eat if my dad didn't feel like cooking. It it, it happened rarely, but it happened. Uh, but no, he would make us dinner. And it was a fucking treat. My dad cooked like three things. Sometimes he cooked hamburgers on the grill when he Ooh. when he got an okay grill. Yeah. And uh, then he cooked hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> so it was the same shit. <laughs> yeah, it was just cooked just properly on the way. grill. Yeah. Uh, but he made... Hot dogs and mac and cheese in the same pan. Okay. Yeah. Like, did he fry the hot dogs first and nope. put the mac in? No, he also boiled his hot dogs. With the noodles? No, after the hot dogs. Oh. So he cooked his pasta with hot dog water. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Did it, it was did, good. It was delicious. I was say, did, did, did he like the mac and cheese? I can't fight you on it, man. It was great. <laughs> Maybe he figured something out that we didn't. You know? That sounds that sounds really delicious. So you had a story about something Sharon wanted you to bring up. I have a story about something Sharon wanted me to bring up. Oh God. So what is is this the story that you were telling yeah. me about yeah. like like you hinted towards the gym? Go ahead. You said she made a comment at yeah. the gym. Uh-huh. Did she get in trouble? No. Did she hit on another female? No. Because but last, she, but last she did time... Have, she did have this young dude check her out today, though. Last time she went, she made friends <laughs> with a lady who was talking about being swingers. We saw her the next time that we went to the gym <laughs> leaving, and Sharon's like, I need to get your number or something like that. And I was like, Sharon, we need to fucking go. <laughs> <laughs> She's trying to leave. We're trying to go in. Let's go. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> no, 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 no. Nothing like that. She was uh, She was just telling me about her new skincare regimen. Oh, <laughs> I see where that comes in. <laughs> she, she said, uh, so yeah, I'm, I've been trying out this new uh, facial skincare uh, lotion. She, yeah, she did that too. She, she grabs it and goes, oh my God, it's so soft. And, you know, when I put it on, it's white. And I was like, oh, it's cum. And she just lost it right there in the middle of the gym. Dropped to her knees and started laughing. Dude, she does that in the middle of the night. And we live upstairs. And she's like, it don't sound that loud when I drop to my knees. And I'm like, I promise you downstairs it does. Dude, there, there's like 20 different people that we've seen go to the gym the, every time that we go there. Yeah. And they're all just staring at her. And she's just cracking up laughing. And that's my baby. <laughs> So yeah, uh, do I'm I gotta sure beat she up recommends this? It. Do I gotta beat up this young kid who checked her out? Do I gotta go there and karate chop him? I mean, she was freaked out, but it was. Oh, he was really eyeing her, huh? I, I get. Yeah. <laughs> I would check her out. I mean, look at her. And then she always goes with the tight gym clothes, and her booty's just sticking out. I know, dude. I'm a beast of a man. Mm -hmm. They got scared. I know. That's why I send her with my best friend. <laughs> because I'm a wimp. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm getting buffed for the both of us. <laughs> <laughs> I'll protect both our women. <laughs> he really well, is the beach master. One arm this way, one arm this way. <laughs> <laughs> CJ, tell us what we're doing today. <laughs> so, Drew, you took me into your bedroom yeah. today. I locked the door. Mm -hmm. And said, <clears throat> take a look at these candy bars. <laughs> so, I was looking at your little candy bars that you had up there. 
Hershey um, white chocolate. <laughs> I'm sorry. Your big fat candy bar I was looking at upstairs. And uh, you were like, how do you like it? I was like, oh, it's pretty good. So you were like, I was thinking about drafting big floppy candy bars. So I was like, cool. So what we're doing today, apparently, is you made a list of more than just candy bars. Kind of all different kinds of candy. And we're going to go ahead and do our own little draft. That was already gay, and you made it even gayer. <laughs> I know. That's my talent. We all got talents. Oh, I can... that's fitting, being a hairdresser. I just sprinkle gay. <laughs> this gets a little gay. That gets a little gay. <laughs> this gets a little gay. <laughs> I'm like Cupid, but for homosexuals. Better cut it right there. It's not getting any better. It's not getting any better. It's not getting any better from this point on. We already have feet. So the reason that I want to do this is uh, the NFL draft is actually uh, this weekend. Yeah, twenty fifth. Yeah, something like that. Uh, so I mean, people are already going to be thinking about drafting, drafting in the NFL. True. Uh, so we're going to draft. Some good stuff. And I've been seeing this on TikTok quite a bit. And I figured, you know what? We could throw two cents in there. We're funny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> that's, that's what we provide. <laughs> so, but we're going to have a couple different categories here. Uh, our first category is going to be all-time bests. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Our next category is going to be movie. Candy Ooh, movies doesn't everyone... specifically have to be movie theater candy. Can no, be, no, no. We all we all snuck in. Can- well, I don't know why. Right. We all snuck in candy. Yeah. So, everybody did. Yeah. Come on. I you snuck got... in a batch of double stuffed Dude, Oreos come on. one time. Dude, I snuck in a two liter once. Uh, my friend's mom took in eight Jamocha shakes from Arby's in Holy her crap. purse. My... And, and they spilled. <laughs> Real quick, my grandma. She started my love of movies. She loved horror films. We'd always watch horror films with her. She would always take us to the movies. And before we went, we stopped at the dollar store. She had the biggest purse she, you know, owned. And we'd go in there and just throw stuff in there. We'd go right to the... That's the American dream. The American... My grandma taught me how to do this. <laughs> Third category is parade. Ooh. Candy that you get at a parade that you fucking love. Can't Be forget excited. about excited, yeah. Fourth is gift, uh, candy that you would like to receive as a gift. Okay. Uh, fifth is candy at your grandma's house. Ooh, candy at grandma's house. Love right. every candy. Right. Now, we do have a word bank in front of us here of a whole bunch of different candy bars. and uh, Candy bar is a broad term. We can go into some discretion here. Yeah. Uh, there's gum on here. There's gummies. There's sweet things. There's non-traditional candy bars there's you know there is candy okay. bars too. right like chocolate I, but doesn't have to necessarily be a bar yeah yeah a lot of a lot of different well-known candies i'm yes. pretty sure you'll have a list somewhere and then um you know as we talk about them i'm pretty sure you're gonna edit something so right uh now we are going to cross off each one that we have here once it's done, it's done. It's, it's done. Drafted. It can't be used on any other category. The only thing we could possibly do is maybe trade. Ooh, trade for picks. No, that get too complicated. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds interesting, but I feel like we'd argue for hours. Yeah, we didn't talk picks. about that beforehand. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, one of the things we're going to have to figure out here is mm-hmm. who's going to go first. Well, Drew, I say, let's see. I say, who has the biggest boobs? And that's not bad. Do you have a coin on you? I did not. No. Oh, man. Here we go. I got this trusty <laughs> big fat coin. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be loud. Heads or tails, Drew? Uh, heads. heads. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Woo! Woo-hoo! I go first. Heads, you go first. Okay, you get to go first on number two, though. Okay. And then we'll alternate. Right. Yep. I get you. So we're going to choose three. Your top three for every category. Top three. Gotcha. 
All right. Once somebody else picks it, you cannot use it. It is Just done. To be fair, I that's the way a draft is. You don't need the highlighter? Nah, I'm no good. Gotcha. All right, man. You ready for my first yeah. pick? What's your first pick? <sighs> I got to do it. I, I got to fucking do it. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Oh, I knew you would. I knew Reese, you would. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. I knew you would. Mine, zero bar. Again, we got to go with zero bar. <laughs> okay. Calm down, Drew. So many options. So many here. options. So many so options. So many options. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Snickers. Oh, you took the Snickers early. Snickers. Took the Snickers real early, took did you? Real early. Okay. Um, that's not bad. Where is it on the paper here? Bottom. There it is. Okay, my turn. Drew, that was a good pick. That's a quality pick right there. Quality pick. I'm going balls to the walls. These are so good. I'm not even blowing for any other category. Dude, I'm going to. Heath. Heath bar? Heath bar. Good old Heath bar. That's, it's a classic, man. A little crunchy. Perfect. I love it. I love it. It gets stuck in your teeth, but that's a little better for later. <laughs> that's a little better for later. You know what I mean? Uh, Number three. This one's rough. I'm between two. I'm not going to tell you what they are. Okay. I think I'm going to take the Kit Kat. The Kit Kat? Go ahead and take the Kit Kat. Uh, go ahead with the Kit Kat. I don't get too excited over Kit Kats. I'm going payday, buddy. Uh, uh, the good old screw the chocolate. Sometimes you got to say screw the chocolate, throw the chocolate out the window, and just get yourself some caramel and peanuts. Love them, dude. Okay, so a payday is just Baby Ruth without chocolate. Yeah, it's great. This is like the, the Mounds and Almond Joy discussion. Both suck. No, they don't. Oh, wow, <laughs> dude. Them fighting words. I disagree. I know. The paydays are... Dude, they're the best salty little snacks sometimes. Sometimes the chocolate's too much. I don't want the chocolate. <laughs> you can have all your stuff. Now, this is not going to be for us to decide. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This... It's going to be for you to decide. This is our poll for the week. Uh, we need you to vote and tell us which one of us won the all-time draft. Just, yeah. Category number one. Category number one. Mm-hmm. Right. And then you can comment down below which all the other categories. Right. Uh, fun fact, though. I threw a lot of big names out there. Yeah, you I did. blew a lot of big ones. Yeah, me too. <laughs> you blew the Kit Kat, dude. I blew the Kit Kat. Which I didn't even have highlighted, so I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but you're up first for the movies. Movies? Which one did you stick in your grandma's purse? Okay. Your grandma's coin Peanut butter m and coin purse. <laughs> yeah, that sounded dirty, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going peanut butter M&M's. They're great to throw on the popcorn, dude. You throw them in there with the popcorn, you mix it all together, it's an amazing little treat. But they don't melt. That's kind of the better part. I kind of like that they don't melt. Dude, you're in the middle of a movie theater. You don't want chocolatey weird hands. Sometimes you do. Maybe you do. You're in the movie theater, dude. Wrong candy. Wrong candy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to pick up where I left off. Yeah. Fucking delicious. Uh, Twix. Oh, okay. Not a bad one. Not a bad one. I do like Twix. I love having them there. Okay. Next one. Uh, whoopers. I love me a good whooper. A little crunchy. Perfect to sneak in. Yeah. Yeah, a whopper. Those little chocolate balls that are crunchy, you always, they come in the milk cartons. They're perfect for the, perfect. Perfect for movies. Okay, right under Swedish Fish. Got it. Ooh, good assist, bro. Swedish fish. Swedish fish. That I knew I messed up when I said it. <laughs> oh my god, that is a real good one. That is a good one. So last one, huh? Oh yeah, last one. Hmm. Now this is where it gets rough. Right. There are so many good things taken off the board here. Oh yeah. You still got raisinets. I do. Ew. Jun Junior mints. Junior mints. Classic. Mince, classic yeah. 
classic movie stuff, but not. Dots? Mm, I don't know why people assume that that's. I thought I, I never understood that dots. Uh, I'm actually going Mike and Ike's. Mike and Ike's. Mike and Ike's. I loved getting Mike and Ike's for the movie theater. Ugh. You're not a Mike and Ike guy? No. Do you not even the tropical ones? No. We got a different taste in candies, no. bro. Okay, I think I'm going to blow you out of the water with this one. Okay. For my third and final pick for this grouping, Twizzler. <clears throat> Go Fuck to... Fuck you. Movie. Yes. I can't believe it stayed on for so long. I missed it. Bro, honestly, I'll tell you, I was waiting and hoping to God it fell to parade. <laughs> I really was. The little ones. The little ones. Oh my God. Aren't I love those, those great to get out of parade? That's what I'm saying. Amazing. Like the big ones, I agree with you. The big ones are good for, for movies. But something about watching a movie, if you notice, I, I like little handful things. <laughs> I don't know why, but like Mike and Ike's, you can dump a bunch you in your like hand. you like me? Whoopers, you can dump a bunch in your hand. M&M, uh, peanut butter M&M's. <laughs> you can wash them in your hand. Like, just dump them in your hands. So, next category. Parade. Parade. Oh, Drew? I have the first pick here. Out of all Do these I not? candies. Yes, out of all these candies, what are you looking for? All right, so there's some stuff here that I really like. Yeah. There's some stuff that I was okay getting out of Parade. There's some stuff that I have some fond memories of getting out of Parade. Yes. But do I want to wait for Grandma's house? That's the key. There's a lot of stuff that you get at Parade that you get at Grandma's house. Yes. Yeah, very similar. Very similar things. Ooh. I'm, I'm hurting here. Uh, see, one is standing out to me that I like. I have a connection with at a parade because I have a I have a standing order to it. Then I'd say this is the category of the pick, bro. <sighs> this is parades. If you're gonna draft a good parade candy, because that's what it's about. We're not talking about the best candies. We're talking about the best parade candy. What are you gonna get at a parade that's good? Airheads. That is a good one. Airheads is a good one. I'm going flavored Tootsie Rolls. Oh, fuck. Those, those are, are so good. Oh, I dude. See them? It is the best when you finally see a truck throwing those. You're like, yes. The lime and vanilla. Best. Okay. Well, the lemon one's pretty good, too. All of them are good. All, All right. of them. Are good. I'm in crisis mode here. I'm in crisis mode. Dude, I, I think I can't give you the sweep. And I have to take chocolate. Tootsie Rolls. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to draft those two. <laughs> you took them out from under me. <laughs> I'm going root beer, root beer barrels. I, dude, I they're not bad. They're great. I love them. I love them. And, dude, you always get them at a parade. People chuck them at you. They kind of hurt. But they're the perfect parade candy. And guess what? If they hit the ground and crack a little bit, it's okay. Because you need it sometimes. Because those things are fucking tough. <laughs> Alright, so I'm stuck between two here. I don't know which one. And I'm going to get roasted. And I can't really help it. Uh, there's one that I perform more than the other. But I think the other one's more popularly liked. I think I'm going to do it anyways. Three Musketeers. Wow, three Musketeers. Get the little fun yes. sized ones. I did not oh, see you amazing. taking that. That's a, that, that's a very left field pick there, I sir. I love Three Musketeers. It was chocolate on chocolate, homie. I'm going to complete this. Hit it. Because I got Hit the it. trilogy going. Hit it. I already got the flavored Tootsie Rolls. I got the root beer barrels. You know what's perfect to finish off? Fireballs. <laughs> Little fireballs. Perfect parade candy. Perfect. You see those all over the parades. Little, little cinnamon. They're great. I don't fight you, but I'm not a cinnamon type of guy like oh, that. Oh, dude. I would have done Jawbreakers, but not my pick. Not Jaw, my to me, you don't see a lot of Jawbreakers thrown. I saw a lot, yeah. Do you? All the different colored ones. They came in those individual packs like Fireballs came in. Yeah, I guess. I guess you could call those Jawbreakers, but those were like small bitch Jawbreakers. I was, <laughs> I'm used to the ones that the are half tall. Yeah. The moles. Yeah, the real Jawbreakers. Uh, also, surprised it didn't get picked. Uh, the one that I was really thinking about taking number one, uh, nerds. 
And they're, and they're little just, boxing or they're yeah, not good, but they're memory. Yeah, yeah. They are in your the memory. Parade. They are in your memory. So, fourth one, huh? You're up, bud. Gifts. Four gifts. Now, we need to be a little less specific here. This can be stuff that you get in an Easter basket. Yes. This can be stuff that you get in a stocking. Yes. This can be stuff that somebody just brings to you yes. naturally. I'm going Hershey's Cookies and Cream Bar. I love getting those around Christmas, in your stockings, a little. Just, you know, you get the little chunks of them. It's perfect. You get to rip them open. Mm. Delicious. I, I, I don't fight you on that. However, I think there's a better Hershey's. You're going Hershey Kisses. For Christmas. Hershey Kisses. I'm not... They are... But to me, there's only certain flavors that I like. A regular Hershey Kiss just ain't enough. Just it's ain't chocolate. Enough. It's not like the foil is a different flavor. Some of them are. Some of them are. Yeah, there's, there's the, the caramels. Air, there's the arrow ones. There's the caramels. There's the cherries. I like the ones that are like uh, like twisted. Oh, yeah. Those are two different colors. Yeah. Those always melt, though. They more do. More than the other ones. They do. It's... They're okay. They're okay. I'm just... I don't know, man. I... Uh, mm. Okay, I'm going Laffy Taffy. I like a good Laffy Taffy. Who as gave gifts. you Laffy Taffy, dude? I would always get Laffy Taffy in my like Easter baskets and stuff. And then you can get the watermelon one that was always great with the little seeds in it. Dude, you're messing up, man. Laffy Taffy. Actually, one of the first things I did when Sharon moved in was buy taffy because she really didn't have taffy. And I was like, no, I, no, I bought a whole box of it. <laughs> I would love to get it as a gift. Laffy taffy. I think you could dress it up. It's colorful. Okay. You know, yeah, I like it. I mean, that's you. That's you. Yeah. Uh, I think I have to keep the can like the, like the holiday theme going. Uh, I didn't get much of them because we were like, they were illegal growing up. Yeah. But I still do. Kinder Surprise. Why were they? Oh, yeah. We had Wonder Balls yeah. growing up. Yeah, because those, it was something like a choke hazard. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. You get a little gift with it. Little it's gift. Fun. It's I'm going a Cadbury cream egg. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a perfect gift right there. Perfect little gift. Okay. So I might give you some info here. Mm -hmm. uh, candy corn. I'm, I'm not going to pick it, but, you know, that's that's a holiday. A Halloween special. Oh, a Halloween special right, right. there. Uh, the pumpkins, the candy pumpkins. The little pumpkins. Oh, my God. They're, they're the same thing. Any kind of lollipop, which I'm surprised we didn't pick in Parade. Yeah. Yeah, actually, good point. Yeah. No one did pick Dum Dums. Good point. Um. Now, I know that my pick here is going to be very close to something similar that is also on here. Uh, but it's got to be the red and white. The fucking candy cane. Candy, yeah. The candy cane's a... Uh, come on, dude. You look at it and you know. Somebody got you that. Well, and you know <laughs> what time of year it is. Yeah. You're like, that's how great of a candy yeah. it is. Once it's you a see decoration. The, yeah. As much as it is delicious. Because the blue ones, man... Oh, those blue candy canes. Woo -wee. Then they got jo uh, the, the Jolly Rancher candy canes. Yeah. Oh. Do they have all different types of candy yeah, canes? Yeah, yeah. I've, I've tried the Skittles and, and Starburst, all that. Uh, I'm telling you, the Jolly Ranchers, they did it right. My brother goes every year and picks out two that he really likes and one kind of random one that he thinks other people will like and hangs them on his little tree at work. That's So cool. any guests that come in, he gets to take his candy. They get to take a candy cane. Dude, that's... I. Every year, I decorate the tree with candy canes because I only like to eat candy canes if I pick them off a tree. <laughs> like, I put candy canes on my tree so you would pick them off. Yeah, and I did. Yeah, well, that was two years ago, but yeah. But I did. Yeah. Dude, I it's something about it. It's just a fun little tradition to pick them off the tree <laughs> and eat them. I like it. I'll get a whole box, hang them up, then I'll instantly take one. Something about it. <laughs> Don't want it right out of the box. Not for me. All right, bud. Uh oh. Last category here. Okay. Things you'd find at grandma's house. Well, I'm going first, and it's not. No, I'm going first. Oh, you get. Who? I went, you went, I went, you went, I go. Okay, I'm sorry. 
I gotta do it. You I gotta, know, you gotta I, take it. I, I think, know you're gonna take it. I was gonna take we it. We were already talking about I it. I feel like you we have to take it. Last episode. I, I feel think two episodes before that. I feel like it's the only one to draft, right? In this category, first off, since it's still here. Strawberry bonbons. Oh, you okay? Oh, <laughs> what? Okay. The strawberry, yeah, wrapped ones. I know you don't like strawberry, but man, and they're gooey. Yeah, they're yeah. gooey on the inside, but hard on the yeah, outside. We were just a little off, dude. We were a little because you were right with all those things, but I'm going where there's original. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that'd be the first one off the board. I really did. I think that's I like those better than the strawberries. And when that's at grandma's house, that's always a fun time, dude. It's always a great time. I even had it marked. Hmm. Had it marked. You know what? I'm gonna go with a backup here. Okay. I'm gonna go with a backup. Uh oh. Uh, butterscotch. I Not fucking bad. love me some uh, butterscotch. Yes. Dude, a good butterscotch? You can't beat a butterscotch. good butterscotch. Very good candy. Very good candy. I cannot get mad. Hmm. I'm going orange slices. <laughs> That's always one grandmothers and them would have laying around. I don't know that I've ever had one at my grandma's house. Really? My grandma always had those like sugary fruits. Yeah. It's like candy fruits. Yeah, like peach rings. Yeah, peach rings. Which are also on there. there. Which are on there. Yeah. Yeah. I spelled coconut wrong. I spelled coconut. (laughs) (laughs) Coca cunt. (laughs) Says coca cunt. <laughs> Sorry. Coca cunt candy. <laughs> That's Sorry? a good candy. It's fish flavored. <laughs> With a hint of coconut. <laughs> See, my grandma loved Charleston shoes. I hated gum. Fun fact my grandma never had a piece of gum in her entire life. How did she know she hated it? She just hated the idea of it. Oh, okay. My mom. Was not allowed to have gum until she moved out of the house. Dang. Dude. And went to college. That's weird. Where other people that age try alcohol, my mom tried gum. <laughs> <laughs> She's living her, her truest self. Okay. Now, I want to say something. I don't want to give you the idea. But I have to pick what's better here. It's gum. Juicy fruit. Mm. Oh, my grandma had that. All the time. Juicy yeah. fruit. Yeah. I thought she didn't eat gum. She didn't. She had it for us. Oh, that's <laughs> weird. She was okay with her grandkids eating it, but not her. No. Nope. Or her kids. I'm going with the all-time grandma candy and the all-time candy at the doctor's and the all-time candy at really any waiting room. The dum-dum. High chews. What? <laughs> dude, I... <laughs> the Dum Dum, maybe. No, dude. High chews are always at the doctor. It's like you always get the little squares and just high chew. It just... I don't My grandma also had those laying around, too. Never too much Dum Dums. Yeah. That's... Never too much Dum Dums. Now, now... I always got them at the barber shop. Yeah. Do you give them at the barbershop yep, now? at the barbershop, yeah. Parades. I got, Parades. I got dum-dums there. Uh, bit. One I'm surprised never got taken. Cowtails. Oh, so great. Great. Dude, a, uh, a, a uh, thing uh, has to hit me. A, a feeling just has to hit me every once in a while to go nuts for them. Caramel creams. They're delicious. Parade. Oh, dude. Even that, grandma's candy. That would be a parade thing. Yeah. It could even be at grandma's. Those, car, those caramel. Right. Always at grandma's. Great candy. Peach rings. We mentioned Peach them. rings. Nobody took them. Nobody. Dude. Oh, I'm surprised. We even had we had gummy worms. We had gummy bears. No one took those. Peppermints. Peppermints. Skittles. Oh, Starburst. Wait, we missed Skittles and missed Starburst. Skittles and Starburst. Sour Patch Kids. What you call it? You're in my one of our favorite candy bars. Yes, together. Yeah, together. We were we just got too caught up in the sauce, baby. I mean, we missed some good picks. There's a whole bunch of Reese's here, and we could we could have done a whole thing about Reese's. Take five, the sticks. The sticks are amazing. Well, I dude, okay, my favorite out of the Reese's that's not a Reese's cup. Pieces. Okay, yes. <laughs> Other than that, though. Other than, I'll, I'll let's let's rephrase this: the Reese bars. Yeah. The fast breaks. I love the nutrageous with the Reese's pieces in it. That's is that too cheating? Much. 
<laughs> no, it's not. But that's too rich for me. The fast break is like just enough. I like it's to great. take five. I do like the fast break. I like to take five with the with the pretzels. Yeah. I am a pretzel dude for some reason. Pretzels and chocolate, I'm all about it. Twizzlers, you son of a bitch, you stole that. Milky Way, man. I'm surprised that didn't go. Babe that- Ruth, I'm surprised. Butterfinger? <laughs> yeah. No one took a Butterfinger? Crunch Bar? Crunch? Good old Crunch Bar. They're underrated. Underrated. I the, do love a good Crunch Bar. The Natural bar. Hershey's Bar. Gobstoppers. Garbage. Hot take. Garbage. What? Natural Hershey Bar. Oh, yeah. Gross. Just a flat- Great on s'mores. I love it it's, it's great when you use it with stuff, but just to eat a flat chocolate Hershey bar, I never, I don't get those right. people. Uh, other ones that I saw that reminded me of my childhood that I'm surprised we never took. Uh, where were they? The one was there. We go. Uh, Push pops. Yeah, I loved them as a kid. They get your fingers sticky. Ring that's why pops. That's why I don't eat them as a. Another uh, same thing. They Pixie get your fingers stick, sticky. They get your fingers sticky. Yes, they do. And the tops always stick together. As yeah. an adult, you, you just don't eat those things because they're too. <laughs> but pop rocks. No one took pop rocks. I mean, they're not a great candy, but they're fun. They're fun. They're fun. They're, they're interesting. They flavor things up. They you can. Kinda, bed- they kind of taste dookie. You can bedazzle actually as as the homosexual cupid. <laughs> that's what i sprinkles a little bit of pop rocks on people <laughs> see i would have figured like a zagnut bar <laughs> dude i'm also surprised warheads weren't taken razzles <sighs> were on here tootsie pops yeah blow pops on here too blow pops suck who wants that nasty gum i do Really? Yeah. You like the gum in the center? Dude, t- Tootsie Pops was a staple at parades for me. No, the t- the, the Tootsie, Tootsie. The, the ones with the Tootsie Rolls in them. The Tootsie Rolls, yes. Yeah, not the one with the no, shitty. But you also got Blow Pops, too. Yeah, fuck the Blow Pops. That's what I'm saying. I like both. No, I was dude. happy with either. It was a letdown when you bit into it and it was that chewy, nasty gum that didn't have any flavor and it it, it was barely a pinch of gum. It was awful. It was okay. much better with the Tootsie Roll. Okay, so speaking of a pinch of gum, one thing that didn't get taken. Yeah, big leaf. Should have in the parade. Double bubble. Oh, yeah, double bubble. They would just Dude, <laughs> fucking whip handfuls of Big league chews on here, man. Amazing. Bubble tape. Oh, dude. Fruit stripe? Fruit stripe. Uh, the best gum that lasted for three seconds. <laughs> Did not put stride on here. Yeah. During the course of making this list, we had to make a few decisions, and I hope you can respect these. Uh, the first one is we didn't really want to have anything that was primarily marshmallow. So, like, peeps. Yeah. Yeah, they're candy, but kind of. Kind of. Right. I don't know. Like, Gushers was another one. Fruit right. by the foot. Certain fruit is it, snacks. Could it be candy? Probably, but it, it doesn't seem like right. it. Right. Dude, if fruit snacks was on here, that would have been my first choice. (laughs) I love me some fruit snacks. Why? (laughs) Arizona fruit snacks. Because, dude, one, they're usually pretty natural. It's like just fruit juice that's just coagulated with some bone marrow. Right? See, if I'm going to do that, I'm going to go gusher. Yeah, but that has all this. That has a lot more stuff than what I want, dude. A lot of the stuff I get doesn't have artificial flavor or uh, colors, flavors, or anything like that. Yeah. And then if you get Welshers, that's 100% real fruit. Dude, they're just the best. Something about going to your Zen mode and hitting your vitamins and once you're done, coming downstairs and grabbing a pack of gummies. Best thing in the world. I worked out now. You can still eat those gummies. <laughs> no, 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 I'm saying that's my Zen mode. Oh, yeah, dude. It's not a lie, dude. Once you start working out, you get to this point where if you don't work out, you don't feel right. Yeah. It's like, like oh, weekends weird. drag for me. Oh, I bet. Yeah. Yeah, and that's good. It's making a habit. Real quick, I want to go over some of the j- just just the worst things. Okay. Just the worst things here. Just the worst. Like raisinets. Circus peanuts. Oh, those are disgusting. They're so bad. Dude, those are... I, I honestly thought those were meant to ship things out with. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Ugh. And I know someone that's their favorite. I'm like, you are a sick, twisted gross motherfucker um the 
The what? I don't know. I lost it. The raisinets suck. No. I'll tell you that. Why are raisinets candy? Uh, they're chocolate covered. Okay. I'll give them that. Because they have chocolate on it, it's considered candy. Are there candy. any other things that have raisins? Raisins that are candy? Yeah. No, I don't think so. And why not use a date? A date's much gooier and, and wonderful. So those peanut butter bars, they suck. The coconut candy, they suck. Yeah. Um, bottle caps, man. I miss bottle, bottle caps. caps. Pretty great. Um, Peppermints, eh. Yeah. Like, is that really a candy? Junior mints, gross. I know I mentioned it, and I know that I said that it was a holiday staple. Peppermint patty also sucks. I love peppermint patties. They're so good. Candy corn. Candy corn sucks. Yeah. Yeah, candy corn does suck, dude. <laughs> and there's, you want to like it every year, and you try it, hoping that it'll get better, and it's just the same candy corn. It reminds me of the Valentine's Day candy hearts. Yeah. Oh, we forgot those. Dude, they're shit anyways. They are. They're chalky AF. They're shit anyways. I don't know how they sell. I don't know why people keep buying them. I, I, because they have they're writing the on things. them? Yeah. They're no, dude. A Starburst. I, I would never put someone I love <laughs> through eating one of those. I know. Yeah. You, you just can't. I'm not a big fan of Mike and Ike's Good and Plenty, Hot Tamales, those kind of weird... Hot Tamales is a... What are they? Those, like, like those licorice capsule things? Yeah. Like the, yeah, all yeah. Of those. It's like a gummy with a hard outer shell. Right. Yeah, I mean... Uh, one that I'm sad and didn't get picked anywhere, probably my, like, fourth favorite candy bar. It's a little guy. Crackles. Yeah, I'm not... Regular candy bars just don't... I don't know. Like Butterfingers, I'm a good. I like Babe Ruth's. They get stuck in your teeth, man. Butter yeah, fingers. Butterfingers do. That's why you can't eat them. Lemon Heads is one that I had that I never picked. I I hate biting into a a Baby Ruth or a Payday and like doing the caramel pull because it's not like a cheese pull. Cheese pull's sexy. Cheese pull tastes good. Like that thing when you pull it, it just keeps going. You could do that forever, and dude. then it drops and it's sticky. No, dude, that doesn't happen with me because I bite it all the way through you're a monster i am they're delicious and i will not stand here and have you say anything now bad and about. later cookie dough bites not that good they, they're i think they're good they're, eh. They're, eh. red hots mm, snow caps are also eh. mr beast bar sucks don't waste your money <laughs> on it drew you want to take us home buddy yeah We're on Anchor, Apple, Spotify, and Google Podcasts at the Lunch Table with Pepe J. That's probably how you're listening to us right now. So. You stroking? You are. You stroking out there? Yeah. Okay. I said everything proper. So keep going ahead and doing that. Thank you. On YouTube, it's Rumble us. at the Lunch Table PBJ. That's probably how you're listening, watching us right now. <laughs> Can you feel this right now? So if you are, <laughs> keep going try, ahead try and this doing side of my that. body. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Not good. We're on Twitter or X, as Elon Musk calls it. Uh, like his son. Lunch table. PBJ. No. no X A twelve. Yeah, X. His son. Yeah. He likes X. At the lunch table. At lunch table. PBJ. Uh, that's how you can stay up to date with some of the stuff that we're doing, as well as vote on this poll for today. Mm, please vote on this poll. Drew is going through some very rough times during this exit. <laughs> so if you could just put on our poll, it would mean a lot. <laughs> you can also do our polls on YouTube and Spotify as well. We're on Facebook. That's Lunch Table PBJ. <laughs> I suppose our fan page the Munchies. That's how you can really stay up to date on everything that we're doing as well as, you know, vote on these. I love Tell us. Tell us what uh, candies we missed. And I will subsequently tell you that they're on the list. They're just not good enough. Yeah, they didn't make it. Sorry, your favorite candy bar didn't make our cut. Toughen up, son. But somehow the zero bar did. It's the best damn candy bar out there. It was my first pick. I know it was. It is, it is the best damn candy bar out there, and I will not stand here. Can I do white chocolate, almonds, caramel? Top 50, maybe. Nah, get out of here. Get out of here. 
all don't know good candy bars. <laughs> We're on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube Shorts at the Lunch Table with PBJ. CJ takes care of those. Uh, your loser takes care of those. Snip, snip. Remember, Drew, I can snip these in any way I want. I'm calling that shot. I snip it first. I can snip it second. <laughs> <laughs> Double vasectomy. <laughs> Double snip. We only got half the hood the first time. You're only getting the double snip. <laughs> Do you want the one snip plane or the two snip plane? <laughs> right. I'll release it raw. <laughs> I ain't never been proper. <laughs> lastly, yeah. lastly, we're on Patreon at the lunch table, PPJ. If you want to be one of those people that give a little bit extra, that's the way to do it. <laughs> that's a, we love people that give a little extra. Yeah. Yeah. We love little people. You're gonna say we don't? I didn't say that. Okay, we love little people. True. See you. <laughs> Take us home. Thanks <laughs> for being you, bud. It's always fun having you. Yes. Spencer's, yeah, yeah. The dispensers are cooler than the candy. Yeah. But I collectibles. Collectibles. Thank you for stopping in. Thank you for listening come down on the couch being here in person and i'd like to thank myself for dealing with all this <laughs> <laughs> drew i got some advice for everybody yeah i found this advice at the dollar store on a sign i thought it was such a good good phrase i'd bring him here life's Share with a the garden people. dig it close just because your life's not perfect doesn't mean That was a good one. That's a dollar store. That's like who? It? No. That's like who wasted such a good quote? <laughs> it's not that good. Just because your life's not perfect doesn't mean you don't have it. I think it's great. A lot of people think for their life to be great or successful or wonderful that everything has to go perfect. And it's never going to. That's true. So, my point is, calm down. Things are going to be the way they're going to be sometimes. You all deserve to live. Some, well, okay. I'm gonna. A lot of people deserve to live. There's some that don't. Didn't live. Yeah. Politicians. Yeah, like everybody who ran Nickelodeon, Disney. Politicians. A lot of politicians. Yeah. Okay, before the FBI. Huh? Huh? Cheers! Have a good one. Sayonara. I match my outfits with my lady, and I will not be embarrassed to say it or go out in public. Because when we go out, we look like a unit and a team, Drew. If we make out too much, it's... <laughs> then I gotta be worried about going out in public.